Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a bald eagle. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a bowl, or anything else with a circular edge. The bigger you make this circle, the bigger the head will be. Inside the circle, draw a vertical line to split the shape in half. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Draw a curved horizontal line for another construction guide. Place this line slightly higher than the center of the circle. Under the circle, make a small mark for the bottom part of the neck. On the sides of the circle, draw long lines for the sides of the neck. Connect the small mark to the sides using long curved lines to finish the guide for the neck. On top of the horizontal construction guide, draw two small circles as guides for the eyes. Place the eyes on either side of the vertical construction guide. Pay attention to the sizes of the eyes in relation to the head. Draw a curved line between the eyes as a guide for the top part of the beak. This guide should be similar to a small arc. Extend the bottom of the arc so that it's below the horizontal construction guide. At the bottom, draw an angled line as a guide for the bottom part of the beak. The beak should be big in relation to the head. This guide should be similar to the letter V. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Use the small circles inside the head as guides to draw the eyes. Lightly sketch sloping lines across the circles for the tops of the eyes. The bottoms of the lines should point down towards the beak. When you get the shapes right, darken the lines. Curve the tips of the lines. Darken the bottoms of the circles for the rest of the eyes. Make the edges of the eyes thick and dark. Inside each eye, draw a tiny circle for the pupils. Shade in the pupils. The tops of the pupils will be hidden behind the top edges of the eyes. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eyes for creases. Use the shape in the middle as a guide to draw the beak. Darken the bottom part of the shape for the tip of the beak. Make the tip of the beak thin and pointy. On the sides, draw curved horizontal lines for the mouth. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Darken the top edge of the shape for the top part of the beak. Draw a few curved lines around the mouth for the outer edges of the beak. Use a series of short strokes when you draw these lines to create a feathery texture. Extend these lines toward the bottom to create the lower section of the beak. Don't overlap the tip of the beak as you draw these lines. Inside the top part of the beak, draw two small triangular shapes for the nostrils. Draw the nostrils along the path of the horizontal guide. Draw a curved line along the top part of the beak for a crease. 
Near the bottom of the shape, draw a couple of curved lines for the base of the beak. Use short strokes to draw these lines for a feathery texture. Add a few short strokes on top of the beak to emphasize the furrowed brow. Connect these strokes to the tops of the eyes. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the head. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the edges to create a feathery texture. Draw a series of small V-shaped lines along the bottom edge for the feathers on the neck. Follow the path of the guide as you draw the feathers. Now go over the final lines with permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. Use different shades of yellow and orange to color the eyes and beak. Color lightly at first and gradually build up to darker colors. Use light brown and orange to create shadows. Leave a thin strip blank across the beak for a bright highlight. Slowly and gradually blend all the colors together. Push down slightly harder on your pencils to blend the colors together. Use gray throughout the head to create shadows. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. Color using a series of short strokes to create a feathery texture. Add a dark shadow around the eyes and under the beak. Color using strokes that go in the direction of the feathers. The feathers radiate outward from the beak. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the bald eagle. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.